Hey guys, welcome back to the Rev and Evan channel. I got my man Brian Wolf here. In the last video, we had my man going down the track. It was our first outing, fresh tune that we did basically at the track. This engine combo never even made it to the dyno with the Pro Charger and the M1 Methanol. So it was a big learning curve. We had Jason Lee doing the tuning. You can go back and check that video out. But we wanted to give you a look at the car itself and have Brian go through some of the changes and tell you basically what this thing has under the hood, what trans you're running, what's it weigh if you know. It's got the flat hood on it now, it's looking pretty good. So Brian, you made it through your first track day. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was really a, a better than expected first time out, given we didn't have any base tuning. Again, we also not only went to the Pro Charger, but we also put the Haltech in it. So there's right. a lot going on, all new wiring in the car, everything new. And uh, you know we ran our best 60 foot so far, we went 108 with it. Uh, Which is pretty competitive for especially the second run down the track. Yeah, exactly. It was the second run down the track. We have an issue because I was hoping I could run a pure electric fuel pump on the car. Right. But uh, with the fuel demands of this engine, you know, we're going to go to a mechanical pump. So a right. big 10 gallon per minute uh, pump wouldn't, uh, wouldn't keep up. Uh, that being said, we we're really, really happy even though we could only run to about 300 feet. Okay, so what we did with the car this year, again, a lot about what we like to do uh, at the shop is try different things, right? So, went from the Whipple to a Pro Charger, we got a gear-driven Pro Charger, and the coolest thing for me was we were able to put this flat hood on the car. And I think that just gives it a, a special, sinister look. The flat, the flat hood with the zoomies is like extra cool. It is, it's, it's a little different. <laughs> so cool. And then uh, we had to make some room for the oil tank, so we actually took out the stock headlights right. and just put a flat over that. And then we put on uh, LED driving lights where the right. fog lights were. And we took that from Brian Chucky Davis because his car always has those nice bright lights and we wanted that same thing when we were racing at Street night. Outlaws. Street Outlaw guys, yeah. yeah. So that, that helped. And then, uh, so again, we got the Pro Charge, we got the 7.3. The motor in the car now is the motor that has an enormous amount of time on it. It has, it's the motor we did the NA development on, then we put the Whipple on it. Ran it uh, on the hub dyno, ran it at the track, and then right. all we did was put the Brian Tooley intake on, Pro Charger, fits under the stock hood, then we also switched to methanol, M1. Right. And that makes life a lot easier in a lot of ways. Yeah, you do have to worry about oil and keeping oil changed, stuff like that but it makes the car much, much simpler without worrying about an intercooler. So real quick to reiterate, take us through maybe just like the valve sizes and obviously ported heads, but a stock block still. Yep. What crank and what supercharger? Okay, so this is a stock block, stock cylinder head castings. This is still the engine with the stock crank in it. Oh wow. We have Wysco pistons in it, MGP aluminum rods, uh, Charlie Westcott did the mechanical roller cam for me. Right. We've got a uh, Jessel keyed lifter, got a daily dry sump, Jessel belt drive, uh, Jessel uh, shaft mounted rocker arms right. on it. So uh, that's the setup. Uh, then that goes into a Neil Chance converter, and then behind that is a two speed uh, T400. And which Pro Charger are you running? And we're running uh, a Pro Charger gear drive. And in front of the gear drive, we run an, run an F1A94. Nice. And about how much boost is that thing making? Uh, about 20, 21 pounds of boost. Okay. So uh, so that all works good. Um, of course, as we already mentioned, we have the Haltech uh, engine management system on it this year. Um, we have the Mickey Thompson uh, 275 Pro Drag radials on it. Uh, Team Z did the rear suspension on it. Right. Um, the, uh, the car was originally, at one point in time, Jason Lee's car. He sold it to Charlie Cooper. Charlie Cooper won the NMRA, I think, 2017 uh, championship in Street Outlaw. Yep. And then he was moving to a you know more advanced class. I crashed my car that year, and I ended up buying this one off of Charlie, and then making it my own, you know, uh, combination. But that's where, where it's uh, got its life from. It's got a great history. And you made just a couple passes with the Whipple setup. So really, it's been a while since you've been back behind the wheel. How did it feel getting back behind the wheel? Yeah, it was it was awesome because the car went so straight and behaved so well. Right. It was uh, it was just I mean it, it, it couldn't have been a better first outing with this combination. Were you nervous, excited? Um, no, I think you know probably Evan. I think is most people that have you know raced most of their adult lives. Uh, as soon as you get behind the wheel and strapped in. Um, you know, it's just normal. Right. It's just kind of home. But 108.60 foot is, is cooking. That had to set you in the seat. 
Yeah, no, it did, but because the car, and Jason has always said this when I asked him about driving the Pro Mods, he said, when the, the cars are well behaved, they don't feel as fast as exactly. they are. Exactly. It's not until something goes wrong that, <laughs> you, that you know how quick it, you're really going. Yeah, and your burnout was smooth, you staged like your routine, and you getting back in the groove just watching from outside the car mm -hmm. was spot on. Like there was no like misstage in the car, staged it nice and shallow, tree came, you went, and it did. It really went nice and straight every time. Yep, no, and that's what makes it uh, really, really enjoyable. Straight, <laughs> going straight is good. Yeah, so like you said, Team Z suspension, do we know what the car weighs? Have you weighed yeah, the it? Yeah, the car weighs, yeah, and that's one thing, car weighs 29, 25. So if you remember, we did a, uh, a video not too long ago on Brian's rewiring the car and the installation of the Haltech system. So that was one of the keys today, right, was Jason Lee getting some of the bugs ironed out. I know the first pass was a little shaky, but then boom, you came right back, he made a couple changes, and yeah. uh, how was it working with the Haltech? No, yeah, it was, it was working really, really well. Uh, again, you know, for not dying in the car and, you know, just kind of going from a bit from scratch, it went, you know, exceptionally well. I couldn't have asked for anything better. And, you know, Jason, uh, I first met Jason through Chris Holbrook. Right. Back when I was racing all motor, Chris was doing my motors for me and I was still working at Ford. And he said, you know, hey, in this combination, you have, even though you can tune, you're going to get where you're going a lot quicker. Right. And Jason, uh, I haven't been on an, uh, an outing without him since. So the big thing will be, I guess, where do you go from here? I know we talked about you're going to do the mechanical fuel pump. So tell us what's up what's yeah. up next yes yeah, so what's up next obviously the mechanical fuel pump is going to go on this i want to make sure i want to get everything kind of straightened out with this motor right and then we have a uh, the next motor is going in it's got a, it's going to have a calais uh d-stroke crank in it so we have about 436 cubic inches uh the desire is to race it in uh ultra street and mca right. and mra extreme street type racing and the de-stroking gets you under the displacement limit which is the reason you're doing that correct right yeah because stock everyone knows it's 445 cubic inches uh what everyone probably doesn't know unless you're into that class is uh the maximum cubic inches is 440. Right. so we de-stroked it uh from 398 to uh 384 and uh, that will give us a bit of headway and don't have to worry about it. Right, and not really anything in the performance way between a couple of cubic inches at this level, right? No, no, not at all. The biggest thing is going to the new Calais crank. It's fully counterweighted. Um, not that I've had any issues with the crankshaft, but, you know, uh, instead of just offset grinding and welding a little bit, you know, getting a, a fresh foraging, fully counterweighted, it's going to be nice. All right, so that's another video on Brian in the 7.3. We got so much more Godzilla stuff coming up. We got an awesome engine build that's on the table that's going in the Cyclone, and we're psyched about that. So we're going to wrap it up. The sun's setting here at 131 Motorsports Park. And Brian, what do you like to say? Hey, if you want to keep seeing great content, hit that subscribe button, bitches.